Hey guys, in this quick little video I want to show you how you can quickly make all kinds of fancy, sci-fi, puffy, padded stuff like this thing here. And of course you can use the same technique, not only for sci-fi stuff obviously, but also for all kinds of puffy clothing and, you know, similar puffy shenanigans you might think of. So let's get started. So let's start fresh. So we have this iconic blender cube here which will help us a lot in what we will try to do. So, let's squeeze this guy on the vertical axis a little bit. And now let's apply all the transforms so that we have these fields all nice and clean. Then we go into edge selection mode, in the editing mode, and we will Add a few, well, quite a few. I'll just let's just enter 50. Right click to get out of this edge edition mode. Then again, press Ctrl R to add divisions, or press 50 on the, on the numpad. Right click to get out of this mode, and and now <clears throat> what I will do, I will just select the edges I want to stay. Uh, sharp. Mm, well, actually not sharp, but you know, uh, not affected by this inflation effect. So I will just randomly select these edges here. I will right click and I will mark seams. Okay. And now I will show you the quick little trick with the hard ops which is an amazing add-on I use all the time. Uh, so you will uh, click, you will press the Q button and you will have this menu, nice little menu here. So you will go to add modifier and you will uh, choose this thing here, cloth. So you can just add the cloth, but if you will hold the control on your keyboard, uh, as it says here, it will, uh, it will add the subdivision modifier then it will add a cloth modifier and then then it will add another subdivision modifier on top so what it will result uh, with you will see now so so you will have this nice little um, UI here so here's what you can do you can enter zero here so it's not falling down and you can just press play button and look what happens How cool is that? So now you can just pause whenever you want, whenever you find this thing is looking nice. Okay, so now you just uh, shade this smooth to get out of this, um, to get rid of this, you know, faceting thingy, right? So shade smooth. And then let's just apply material, some material. I want it to be a little bit more reflective, so I will crank up the roughness a little bit. Or actually decrease the roughness, should I say, right? So, uh, yeah, now we have this uh, cool little thing almost ready. So now we just need to uh, either convert it to mesh, or you can just go here and apply all the, uh, all the modifiers, so whichever you want. We'll just do it this way. Uh, so now I will set origin to the origin of geometry. I will place it a little bit, move it a little bit down. Oops. Like this. And now using another cool add-on just to add this little bit of O in this cool little model, I will use um, decal machine which is another amazing add-on I use all the time. So you can choose some nice little um, sticker here, for example, let's see, like this for example. So by pressing G to move this thing around and by pressing Control, I can actually snap this sticker to the surface of this uh, puffy thingy here. So let's place it somewhere here, probably. 
and rotate this guy a little bit to align it and then we will press V and um, project this thing and there you have it so probably let's just a little bit scale it down yeah and yeah now it looks nicer much nicer right and let's apply this sticker here oh it's quite huge okay V and D project right so yeah now you have it and really you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this technique guys so really I highly recommend it